Believe it or not, designing websites is far different than designing in any other medium. Typically, when we hear the word design, we think of free flowing and artistic movements with very little limitations, but web design is not like this at all. In fact, it's more like building a structure with building blocks. It requires precision and a very solid structure. Now, the structure that most any good website uses is something called the box model. This is a simple idea that basically states that every element on a website must live inside a box. And so when you're looking at any website, the first thing you're going to see is our biggest box, which is the body element. Inside that, there are going to be smaller boxes, which are called sections. Inside of those, there are even smaller boxes, which are typically called containers. Inside those containers, there might be even more boxes, which are normally divs. And then inside those, you're typically going to find your elements, which can be text blocks, images, videos, buttons, the list goes on and on. But regardless of what website you're looking at, this box model is going to remain true. So if you look at some websites that you recognize and might visit often, and you look really, really closely, you're going to start to see those boxes come to life. And as we start to look at websites in this way, we're going to be able to dissect the structures that are being used, and so we can duplicate this and build incredible websites. Now, using the box model is going to help us in a number of ways as web designers. Number one, it's going to provide us with a really solid structure and layout that we can follow throughout the design of all of our web pages. Next, it's going to help us with alignment and making sure that all of our boxes and elements are aligned, whether that's left aligned, center aligned, or right aligned. It's going to help make our website look really clean and professional. Next, it's going to help when we reach the development process because when your website actually gets built, it's going to need to be built using this model. And so if we can design with this in mind, it's going to make the development process a lot smoother. This doesn't matter whether you're building this in a web design tool or if you're handing this off to a developer to have it coded, regardless of how you're going to build this website, the box model is absolutely necessary. And finally, it's going to help make your website responsive. The box model makes it really simple to make a couple slide adjustments. And before you know it, you've taken a website that is built for desktop and it works perfectly on a mobile device. So the next time that you're starting a web design project, make sure that you're keeping the box model in mind. By doing this, you're going to set yourself up for success on your next project, and you're going to become a far better web designer. So if you enjoyed this lesson, be sure to hit the like button. And if you want to watch lesson two, make sure to subscribe to my channel and we'll catch you in the next video.